Hey, we've been getting this question a lot. How do I effectively answer a call, talk, and then transfer to a closer? Or, Cody, I've got openers, and I want to train my openers to do exactly what I'm talking about. This has been a popular question, hot topic right now. We're talking a lot about this in our Telesales Mastery membership group that we'll put the links in below, as well as, I know a lot of agents that are plugging into companies that have openers or they do either are hiring their own opener. Even, even if you're accepting live transfers and you're just a closer, knowing this process will help you think through how to take a call, even if you're the closer, right? So we're gonna go through how to effectively transfer a call to a closer, okay? A live transfer using an opener. I'm also gonna give you some ideas on where you could actually find those later on in this video. So make sure you stay tuned, all right? I'm gonna walk through what I think of as like a five step, very simple process that anyone can do if they knew that this was the actual steps, all right? A lot of people, a lot of agents don't need me to give it all away, but if I give them the steps and I point you in the right direction, a lot of agents watching our content seem to end up finding the right direction, okay? So, so the first thing you need to do is actually open the call properly, right? I call this the intro portion of the call. What are you saying? Are you saying, like a lot of us are trained, is this Betty? Are you Betty? Can I speak to Betty, right? Is Betty there? No, no, no. You know the person's name. You know who it is. Just ask for them confidently. I train on this in our university and our cell systems and webinars, everything else. You need to, this is the number one phone skill. Hello, Betty, right? Hello, Betty. That intro. Also, I like to use, I don't like to use my last name or company name unless I see it as, a, as being relevant, right? Hello, Betty. This is Cody, okay? It's very simple, but that intro portion is the key to opening up the call properly. The, the, I mean, they always say, right, you get a second to make a first good first impression. Same thing we said on the phone, right? You get about five seconds to really, as soon as you open your mouth, they're gonna start to evaluate you and think about whether they wanna keep talking to you, whether they wanna hang up on you, and you don't wanna hang up, right? The next step is that you want to establish yourself as the expert. I'm calling because of this, getting back to you because of this. I am the local field underwriter on this subject, and my goal is to see if you qualify because you responded. Now, first question, do you still, right? So you can take it multiple different ways. What well, got you thinking about this? Do you still, you know, uh, is your hobby still this? You know, is your date of birth still this? Do you still live in the state of Missouri, right? Some type of question to not all that, that will lead us to the next portion, but positioning yourself as the expert will actually help with what number three is because that's the one of the big things agents struggle with on the phone. They struggle with them being seen as the expert and having control of the call and positioning the call early in the right frame of mind, okay? So after expert, that's what brings us into staying in control of the call. And that opening question is key. That opening question is key because it, 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 it helps eliminate objections, establishes you as the expert, and helps you continue to be in control of the call. Extremely, extremely important. Intro, expert, control. Next piece that we'll spend a little more time on is the actual qualifying, actually to qualify the prospect. And it's extremely important simply because the, the, this is the first, what we're talking about right now is the first three, four, even five minutes of the call. And when you're talking through the first three, four, five minutes of the call, you want to qualify them in or you want to qualify them out. Because the last thing that I want to do, and I'm going to talk through the things that you're going to actually be qualifying them for, but the last thing I want to do is spend 45, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, an hour and a half, whatever, with someone that can't qualify. Your time is your most precious asset, and you need to realize that so that you can actually start to be in control of your time, and that you can spend your time talking, talking to qualified individuals that are worth talking to. You want to help everyone, but sometimes we can't. And you still have to run a business, you have to make money, you have to put food on your own table, which means, and the more people you move on to, 
you can't help them, why spend time with them? The more, less you spend time on someone you can't help, the more time you can spend with someone you can help. You get the idea, right? And you can end up spending more time with people that you can actually help, and that makes sense. When I talk about qualifying, we're not talking about qualifying for interest level, okay? Early in the call, there's no, you don't, you're not gonna know what the interest level is. The interest, they already have interest. They responded, they, 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 they filled out a card, they filled out an ad, they answered a call, and they talked about it, and they're allowing that opener to call them to live transfer to a closer, right? So when you're talking about qualifying, you're talking about, really, really you're talking about three things. You're talking about the area in which they live, you're talking about the health, and you're talking about that they're able to pay the way that you want them to pay, okay? So whatever that may be, right? I'm gonna raise bank account and put pay, however, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret of what I, business I would and would not accept, okay? So do, are they still in the state that they were in? Are they in a state you're licensed in, right? Are they currently residing in a state that you can help them in, okay? Area, super valuable, all right? If, if, they're, if, if they're in a different part of the world or a different, different state or, or they, you were advertising this state, but somehow they've responded to another state, right? And you're not licensed in that state, then you can't help them. So area is super important, super valuable. Health, what, what, what's their health like? And does it meet the criterias of what you're looking to qualify them for? This is, I, I use these things as a good takeaway early on. It's, it's, it's perfect takeaway selling, you know? What's the health like? What's the health questions that you have? And ask those knockout health questions early in the first three, four, five minutes so that you get those out of the way. And that when you ask those, you know that if you spend an hour with them, they can most likely medically qualify based on the answers they gave you in the first few minutes of the call. So that health piece, very, very important. I don't wanna spend time with, with an hour with someone that's only gonna be guaranteed issue if I personally don't write, wanna write guaranteed issue. And I personally don't wanna write guaranteed issue, okay? All right, so health. The, the, the third piece, is the payment piece, right? Do, do they still have a checking or savings account? Is it active? Is it a bank account? Is it a direct express card? Like what do they have? What do they pay with? And if, and, and if you're like, one, one thing most people forget about is I would set, I would set guidelines on, 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 on what you're going to do business with. If they don't meet your guidelines, like age, area, health, payment, right? I didn't even add age, but you could easily say that age is a qualifying factor because if you only write someone that's 50 to 85 and they're 86 or 49, then you may not be able to or may not want to help them. So age definitely is a piece as well, okay? So that payment piece, I like to do business with people that also do business with a checking or savings account, right? Or a bank or credit union. I don't like to accept direct bill, direct express, cards, none of those things. Money order, right? I prefer to do business with people that use a that have a checking or savings account and will allow the bank to send the money to the insurance company once a month. Okay, that's big. That's a personal guideline and expectation of me. I don't know what yours is, but that's what it is for me. Okay, so think about what it is for you when it comes to payment. What does that look like for you? And do they qualify based on the criteria that you're wanting to qualify them on? All right, also, also, then you have two different options on how you actually transfer the call to a rep, right? This is simple dialer stuff, but you have two different options. You can do a cold transfer or you can do a warm transfer. Cold is you're sending the call to the closer and you're just hitting a button and sending it over. And then they're gonna answer the phone and start talking to the person. Or a warm transfer to a closer is where the, the three of you are actually going to be on the phone together. So you've got the opener. The other way, it's just the, it's just the uh, prospect and the closer. This way, you've got the opener and the prospect and the closer all on the phone at one time, and you're warm transferring it over. And the three of you are submerged on a conference call, and then you are the openers telling the closer details about the prospect so that it's a warm handoff rather than a cold handoff. So that's the final piece of a transfer and how you can effectively do it. So think about this, all right? We think about transfers. Intro, the open. 
becoming an expert. And, and, if you, and if you like what we're seeing and you want to become a telesales machine, we've got a link below to actually join a telesales membership. Right now we're giving away 300 bucks um, and, and wiping that off of the joining fee. Again, I'm not sure what time you're watching this video, right? Intro, expert, control, qualify, transfer. This is how to effectively transfer a live call from an opener to a closer. Hey, if you like this video and you want to learn how to overcome every single objection you will ever get, go to that video, click on it, and I'll see you there. Today, we'll go down as one of the best single insurance sales trainings that you've ever been a part of. I'm confident and I'm certain on that. So you do not want to miss the next